The warning symptoms of a heart attack, first of all and, and foremost, that they arrive very transiently. They come and go fleetingly, weeks, months and days prior to having a cardiac event. People have described them as unusual, unpredictable and unexpected. So that's why they don't recognize them. Typically, people do experience chest pain. They experience sometimes shortness of breath, dizziness, unusual fatigue, almost as if they can't really do the normal activities of daily living. They have nausea and vomiting. They have unusual aches and pains in different locations in their body that they don't recognize as related to their heart as well. Some have described heartburn, and sleepless nights. They cannot get to sleep or stay asleep. Uh, very unusual headaches, unusual sweating. And then sometimes they talk about tingling or numbness in their arms or legs, sometimes in their jaw. So very different signs and symptoms, very unique to every individual. I created the prodromal symptom screening scale as a guide for healthcare providers to annually ask to screen, if you will, for the early warning signs that might lead to the development of heart disease and therefore you can then modify your risk factors and have those um, important conversations with your physician or nurse practitioner to really start to screen ahead of time and to stave off heart disease as long as we can. The real purpose of research is to get critical information into the hearts, hands and minds of people that can use it. And so what I try to do as part of my research program with the Heart Innovation Program here at Brock is to make meaningful messages that resonate and they're taken up and remembered. So we do that through using an integrated approach, marrying research with art using arts-based approach. So for people that have heart disease, it's a journey for them. They so very poetically almost were talking about what they were going through and I took what they were saying, listened to what they weren't saying, listened to their body language, watched their body language, and then crafted four different poems to relate the journey that they were going through. After I've kind of crafted the poems, we've asked various different artists to take us to another level of knowing so that we can really understand in a very prophetic way what it is like for these people to have heart disease and then to have to deal with it on a daily basis.